<laughs> no, Jesus. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop pushing your face against me. Stop pushing your back at me. It's Jesus, he died. Oh, we only knew him. He was so young. Oh, uh, uh, Jesus. Okay, we'll come back. You got, you guys want to say any words? Yeah. Okay. Is it good? Is everyone good? Uh, kisses, Jesus. Kisses. Yeah, I know. He's a good man. We'll see. You. Oh, okay. I have a big brave dog. I have a big brave dog. We're gonna be okay. I remember all the times we sidewalked and and shot things and did the things when I thought he had to do stuff. But he didn't need to do anything. If Energy Miser gets hold of these tubes and he uses his energy weapon prowess to complete his death ray, he could all, he, he could and most likely will use it against his brother. What will he do? Puncture small holes in two or three tubes to make them obsolete. Leave the tubes in working. I'm a nice person, and by that, I, it may, I mean I don't let brothers kill each other. Maybe they'll... Um... Get along for Christmas. Hey! Hi! <laughs> hey, buddy. Alright. Any, uh, we should, I should have asked you if there was, oh, there, there we go. Alright. Hello! Morning. Wow! God dang! Did someone, like, put Viagra in the big horner water? What's going on here? Hello! Hi! Yeah, see, I wasn't that, I was being real polite. You gotta be a dick about it, so, uh... Okay, that's great. Hey, buddy. Oh. All right. Got to make sure we get everyone so they don't grow up and seek vengeance against us all. Okay, good. Perfect. That's what it would sound like, and sound like if that's if I let them do their thing. If I let them do their thing, oh yeah. Hello again. Hello. I have your CRTs for you, Mr. Energy Miser. Well, this was truly fantastic. No more talk will be had. I must get to work. Here's my half of the key that I promised. And, um, Merry Christmas. Bye. Fairly well. No, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Jesus, no. Uh. Uh, decorations run. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is really unsafe. Okay. Oh, what? Optional. Inform Captain Crosby about the possibility of Nazi troops in the warehouse. Investigate the warehouse. Camp Macadam. You can find me at Camp Macadam. I don't remember what mod that was, but that was hilarious. It was like five years ago. Camp Macadam. Come to Camp McCarran. <laughs> Welcome to Camp McCarran. Mm. My socks are made out of gingerbread. I'm looking for Captain Corporal. Mc He's over there. What's that, Private? <laughs> Private. You know, if you were serving, you'd probably be halfway to general by now. If I were serving, I'd be delivering the turkey. <laughs> Jump clear over your head. That's how I get through concert security. All right. There might be some Nazis. Oh, by the way, I didn't kill the Nazis in the the first time we saw them, because uh, pretty sure you instantly die. Um, it was pretty obvious that you would instantly die. I don't, I don't know how you guys didn't pick up on that. Hello. Hi there, Captain Crosby. Are these the only soldiers you're in command of because you're insane? No hey. one trusts you? 
That's a yes, okay. Why, hello again. Hello to you, too. I, I bought some jelly bellies, if you want. Captain, I've gotten a surveillance report on some possible Nazis at the Star Vegas warehouse. Troops? What? Goodness gracious. Break balls. Now's not the time, God damn it! it's just not. I've got a meeting with the brass in an hour at the officer's concourse for this particular reason. My lord. The cowboy within me says to check it out. We don't want to lose these folks if we get a lead. But the soldier within me says to wait. Ah, fuck it. I know you want to help track down these elusive sons of bitches. Take Officer Gribbs and Stanley with you to the warehouse. I must stay. They don't say much. In fact, they don't talk at all. That's why they're my partners. I get enough lip from the brass. Now go ahead and follow your lead. And please keep my troops safe. I'll take them back after the meeting. Hello. No what were they... What were they called? Gribs and... Gribs and Scribble? What were you... What were they? Why, hello again. Hi. Goodbye. Take care. I, who's Gribs? Who's Scribble? What do you need? Is Are you Scribble? Bye. All right. Listen. You, you, I need names. Gribs. What do you need? Gribs? Gribs? Later. All right. I'm gonna... I'm, no. You... No, you look like a Gribs. You look like a Scribble. It, it wasn't Scribble, was it? It wasn't. Who cares? All right. Uh, now? Yeah, we're trying. Uh, you're, you're Gribs. No. You're Gribs, because you got a mustache. Put the put the gun down. Put, put it... Why you... Come on. All right. Gribs and Scribble, come on. Gribs, Scribble. Uh, these are my companions, just like uh, Captain Kentucky Fried Chicken in there. Uh, they don't talk either. Janet might say something stupid every once in a while. Ignore it. Um, seeing as I'm not your main beneficiary, you may die on this mission. That's Steve. He shows his ass. That's Janet. She talks. That's Cuddles. He hits things with his claws. And that's that's Jerry. He punches things. Also, Steve's a genius. And he shows his ass. Which, you know, I think all geniuses do. I mean, if you're a genius, you show your ass. It's okay, but... Not, not everyone that shows their ass is a genius. I'm just saying that people who are geniuses and also show their asses, um, I think every genius shows his ass, but every person that shows his ass isn't a genius. That's what I'm trying to say. Isn't that right, Gribs? No, you're not Gribs, you scribble. All right. And so, Gribs, and oh my god, that's the warehouse. I forgot that's where we were going. Gribs and Scribble are dead. They're dead men and women. So dead. There's a dead man and a woman. Gribs and Scribble. They're gonna get gribbed on the Scribble. Ba, 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 ba. Gribs and Scribble. Gribs and Scribble. Gribs and Scribble. Star Vegas Warehouse. There's two entrances. Gribs, Scribble. Which one are you thinking? I need a decision and quick. Gribs, you're veering towards the right door. I like how you think. All right, people, let's move in. We've got 55055 five, five, five ammunition. This means good luck. All right, people ready? Three, two, one, breach. The Nazis are eating all the cupcakes. Stop them. What do we got? All right, people, this is a steak low, eat low mission. Cuddles and I will be going in deep, deep sleep mode. If anyone needs us, quack like a duck. Oh, shit. Come on. All right, let them come to us. Gribs, scribble. Stay put. Let them... Hey. Gribs! Damn it, Gribs! You like that? Gribs! Son of a bitch, Gribs. You like that? Scribble! Shit. Hold your damn position, people. Hold ya, God! No more cupcakes for you, cu you, you Nazis! Nine, 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 nine. Oh no, nine, nine cupcakes! Sniper, no sniping. 
Get him, Steve. You like that? Nine nine cupcakes. Ow, Dick. Tracy. Wait, what was that? What happened? Something. Return to Captain Crosby and let him know the news. The news that we killed everyone? We didn't get any lights, though. Or did we not have to get the lights? 9-9, nine, nine, where are you? I just keep saying no. What are you? Jesus Christ! Scribble! Get out of the way. Scribble. Scribble, really? I'm going in deep sneak mode, crouching my ass off. I don't got good knees. You think I got good knees? No, I don't have good knees. God, I've been crawling since I was eight years old, keeping going on. What? Yeah, exactly, Scribble. Exactly, Scribble. Is that why you call it Scribble? Because your mind is just a Jim Jam. A Jameson. Words? Yeah, yeah, look the other way, Scribble. All right? God. Look, look, Gribs. Gribs. I'm just chewing her out because I want her to do a better job. I don't want you two dying. You think I want think you want me to come waltzing in to Captain KFC? Where's where's my chicken? Where's my chicken companions? Oh, oh I'm sorry. They're dead. They're dead because Scribble said, Yeah, dude! And then he got her Jameson. Blown off. Huh, Scribble? Hmm? No. I love I love you two. That's why we got tough love. I love you two. Here. Kiss this kisses, alright? I reserve kisses for the misses. You stupid bitches. Now let's get out of here. Jerry, kisses. Oh, I got some flakes. Whew. Generally, good work, I guess, or whatever. Alright, good. Why do Nazis want lights, anyhow? Take out your ammo, and not your, you know what I mean. Right, come on, people. Maybe we should bring back proof. Like a head. Anyone want to rip a head off or something? One out in Bangkok. Sorry. <laughs> now everyone can see me. Uh-oh, I'm naked. Forgot about that. Scribs and Scribble, the stupid bastards, they almost got killed, but that's okay, because they're fine, they wouldn't get killed, that's what I just said, hip hooray. Hope the brass took Captain KFC serious, cause I ain't got time for jokes. Airplane, airplane, everybody everywhere. Airplane, airplane, I see your underwear. Now is he upstairs or is he downstairs? He's most likely upstairs. Gribs, gribs and scribble. Gribs, gribs and scribble. Watching television in the waiting room. Hello. Hello, Captain Crosby. I've just killed a whole bunch of Nazis in the Star Vegas warehouse. Sweet Adeline, you killed them? Multiple troops? More than two. You're out of your mind, friend, and I like it. But we must be careful at this point. I just had the meeting with the brass regarding dedicating some troops to help with his infestation of the Mojave. And I wasn't in there for more than two minutes before they dismissed my proposal. Saying if nobody has seen or heard them, then it's not a worthy cause. So, I think the only help we'll be getting from me is myself and my two trusty soldiers. And by the way, if you don't mind me asking, why in the world were you interested in this particular warehouse? Well, you see, you ever see um, that show where they buy 
never mind. I was getting the City of Christmas decorations from there, so I can help some folks with a party. What? Party. We've got post-apocalyptic Nazis running about, and you're browsing for tinsel? Yeah. Uh, you know what? You're obviously a very talented individual, and I'm not going to question your actions. Damn right. But what I am going to do is take my troops now down to that warehouse for some cleanup and investigation. I want to know why they were in there. You take care now. I'm sure we'll be seeing ourselves mighty soon. And if you need to find me before I find you, I'll be right here at McCarran. McCarran. All right, Gribs. Scribble, you have a good day. All right. Don't get, don't get any sticky situations. What a, what a two n noble, lovable, lovable people. English. Burp, hot dogs. Okay. Um. One night in Bangkok. <laughs> Things are looking up for Santa Claus, except for the Nazis. Things are looking up except for the Nazis, Santa Claus. What are y'all doing sitting around? Season's greetings. Guess what? I ran into some problems with the warehouse open, ready to move some decorations. Well, by gosh, by jingle, that's great news. I can't wait to dive in and see what bubbles and lights they have in there. Why am I in such a great mood, you ask? Well, it's because dear Humphrey's memory was suddenly evoked by the spirit of Christmas. Oh. Over a nice Brahmin steak last night, which I must say is now my favorite Mojave dish, he recalled a small lodge that sits on the Charleston slopes. About a half a kilometer below Jacobstown, he tells me. The Alpine Comfort Lodge stays barely occupied and in great condition. Our dinner conversation revolved around how dear homeless Humphrey was rejected by the mutants in Jacobstown, but found comfort there in the lodge. So I'm guessing this is our next port of call? You can see right through me like Rudolph's nose, young one. Mm -hmm. Of course that's where we're going, like shepherds did in the early tales of Christmas. Uh, how are the conventions, convention invitations going? Has Barney counted anymore? Okay. Yes, Barney's tallied up again today. Invitations are starting to slow down, so I think this is it for our cross-national visitors. We've currently got 480 accepted invitations from as far as Idaho, with the most invitation acceptances being from New Mexico. And that number isn't including the local guests that I want to invite this week when I start posting the posters. I tell you, finding a venue that will fit these guests is going to be challenging. But for now, let's worry about the lodge. All right, what about all the stuff in the warehouse? Where are we going to take it? Not to worry, friend. I've already spoken to the folks at the Crimson Caravan about a deal. I made a guess that Ford Brahmins would be plenty to cart decorations up the mountain from the warehouse, and Barney and I have our own. It'll cost me 1,500 caps, but I can cover it. But what I won't be able to cover is the armed guard cost, so I hope you didn't mind if I put your name down to meet the caravan when the time comes. Of course. My heart is truly warming, friend, and I've yet to sit down and enjoy my seasonal hot chocolate. I'll send Humphrey here to search through the warehouse for any containers with Christmas decorations and set them aside. So I'd say wait about four to five hours, and then meet the caravan at the base of Mount Charleston. Once you get there, we shouldn't be far behind. I'm faintly starting to hear those jingle bells, my friend. I hope you are too. No, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I forgot about him again. Oh. Oh, Jesus. All right, so I think... Thought we were going to do one thing, but I guess we're not going to do that. I guess we're going to do this. When ready, meet the caravan at the base of Mount Charleston. Let's wait. Oh, God. Is it going to be dark? Oh, I hope. Yeah, it's going to be so... It's going to be pitch black. Mm, damn. All right. Hopefully, it's just... It activates when I get there. Well, let's go there for now. Because if it starts now like this, we'll be fine. 
and get attacked by Cazadors and robots and Donkey Kong and giblets. Giblets. Hello! What is that? Oh, no! No, 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 no! No! 